the onset of this started with um, what we call continuous tremor. The volcano overnight had gone into um, continuous tremor, where essentially it was shaking at the summit all the time, shaking at the instruments that we could pick up. You can pick it up, people who were there. Um, so we moved from banded tremor, which these bands of tremor, to continuously tremoring. And then at about um, 8.37 this morning, in fact, we started to see a signal um, and, and, you know, and the signal slowly grew in amplitude. Uh, it increased the size of the, the, the shaking or the amount of shaking that you have. Uh, and, and then by 8.41, you, you had people realize there was an explosion. In fact, the, the, the punching through um, of, of the vent and, and of the dome that was there um, would have happened sometime after 8. 8.37, probably to 8.41 uh, by the time uh, the boom went up. It actually had a big explosion um, when it continued to rise. Uh, Prime said from reports, it's now, in fact, um, it's now estimated in some areas there, there are clouds uh, from um, aviation you, sources you broke, say that pilots you, you, you between... You broke up, you broke up sorry. if you... Re Yes. So it is okay. Now, if you go back over, right. That. So, so I have right. I have a report from of ash clouds um, reported by pilots between twenty miles north to fifty miles south east of Saint Vincent, and uh, reaching up to twenty nine thousand feet. Um, we had estimated the height to about ten kilometers. Looking at the observatory here, just uh, sort of estimating it. So it's around that that kind of um, around ten k. That's how high it went. Um, and it seems that basically you have a set of ash that went off towards the east uh, at a higher level and a set that went off towards the west at a lower level. And, and of course, once the ash is in the atmosphere, it eventually falls back down. So areas um, as far as south as, as Belmont, where we are at, at the observatory here, began to find to feel ash. So we, we had some ash fall here. Um, all of this is expected. Essentially, what has happened is that, as we had said, the batch of magma that had been trying to come up for the longest while, it seems that it lies either right at the surface or, or quite close to the surface. And then overnight, it punched through and it has cleared, you could say it's cleared the throat of the volcano. And so after the, after the explosion, the tremor and the shaking went on um, for, for about 40 minutes or so. And the songs went on after, after it had punched through and caused the column, it went, um, it continued roaring for a little while, so to speak. Um, so the, the, the full, but after that, within about an hour, it then has gone back down to quiet. Um, not so much quiet as it was before, though. It, it sort of, the tremoring continued for quite a little while, up to about a little over an hour. And, and we're now back into sort of a quiet period in between. Now, what has happened is that the explosive eruption, as you had said, could start, has started. And once it has started, it's possible that you could have more explosions like these. Um, essentially, there is fresh magma, fresh material, gas rich, gas rich enough to cause an explosion um, right close to the surface. And once that is there, it could generate an explosion. Um, the, the first one might have been not necessarily the biggest one. It's possible that you could have explosions that go higher and carry plumes higher in the atmosphere than this one did. Um, the areas that's going to be affected most are still the areas we have said, which is the volcano itself, the possibility for pyroclastic flows are the volcano itself, the red areas, uh, the periphery of the orange areas in terms of paraclastic flows and surges, but mainly the rest of the is probably going to be affected only by ash. Most of the ash is going to stay in the northern part of the country, so I would be surprised if a lot of ash gets to the green and the, and the yellow areas even, um, but really that depends on the wind direction. The ash goes, the blue goes up, it explodes upwards, and then after a while it, it, it just gets caught by the ash and where, where, by the wind, sorry, wherever the wind takes it, it goes. So if the wind, for us, luckily, most of the time, the wind blows either to the east or the west. The upper level winds go off the east, the lower level to the west. But sometimes the wind comes to the south. If that happens when you have a, 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 a one of these explosions, that should come to the south. Also, if you have a really, really big explosion, bigger than we've seen, the ash plume, in a bit goes out and it just spreads in all directions. The spread, if the spread is big enough above the volcano, it can spread further to the south. So that's the kind of the two ways in which the ash will get to the south. But it's mainly the ash we'd expect affecting green and yellow areas, not the things that's going to, um, you know, potentially kill people like 
on the volcanoes, uh, the paraclastic flows and the surges. Um, we wouldn't be surprised if this continues for the next few days, the next few weeks. Um, we hope this is more smaller eruption, so it doesn't go on for longer than that. But we, we enter explosive phase, and if it's necessary now for us just to watch, monitor it, see, see what it's indicating, and is it in that it's, it's really just in this phase, it's going to get bigger, smaller, whether it's head towards an end or not. And that's what the monitoring team would be doing, collecting more data, trying to analyze them and trying to find out how far and track this explosive eruption. But for the rest of the people who have evacuated, you really would have to um, uh, probably expect some ash every now and then in the south, southern areas. But otherwise, once you're off the mountain, um, you should be good. I would suggest to you that if you're still one of those persons who are anywhere on the mountain who are saying that you're going to wait it out and see what happens, the first one is not necessarily the worst one. The first bang is not necessarily the biggest bang this volcano would give. So you, you would have experienced the first one if you were there still. Um, just bear that in mind. If you insist in being there still, I would suggest that you move south. I think that's all I'll have to say on a, on a series more. Any questions? Thank you.